four people suffered minor injuries when a number one train packed with hundreds of passengers collided with an out-of-service train that had been vandalized just north of the 96th Street station in Manhattan. And while the MTA is describing the derailment as minor, it was anything but for passengers on board who were stunned and frightened. There was like a rumble and like we, 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 like we all screamed because we didn't know what happened. It was very nerve-wracking. I was so nervous. Well, there are major service disruptions tonight on the one, two and three lines. The investigation into how this happened is now underway. MTA officials say that they have a lot to clean up and they are hoping to restore service by tomorrow morning. I want to see reporter Jim Dolan and Anthony Carlo are both the same. We're going to begin with Anthony. Well, Liz, that's right. And this is a big operation, of course, with a lot of passengers that were involved in this derailment. Officials say about a couple of hundred at least on the train that derailed. And then remember, there was also a train behind that passenger train that was not necessarily involved in the derailment. It was not the incident train, but there were a few hundred other passengers on that train that also had to be evacuated. We've spoken with many passengers who were off the right here at 96th Street. That's where we're planted right now, where first responders help them here to the ground level. And as you take a look at video, you see what many of these passengers had to deal with while they were on these trains. They were dealing with, of course, uh, the jolt of the train derailing when it hit, uh, bumped into that uh, out of service train. You see first responders on these trains helping people, of course, get off. Many of the passengers we spoke to talked to us about having panic attacks. And we also spoke with a couple of high school students that said they had to wait for about two hours as they waited to safely evacuate the train. They were not on the actual train that derailed, but rather the train behind it. They explained that emergency responders had to place a ladder between the two train and the one train the platform walking to the platform through the one train and they watched as others hopped out of windows or jumped out the doors between the cars and climbed across the tracks down to the platform and they watched this all in fear i was panicking at first i was just like trying to calm down not to panic how cool i was just like i had the door open so i could breathe because it was very hot they turned off the heat and um, the air conditioners and everything and then after that, I started crying and I started having a panic attack. And then people was like hopping off the train and walking on the tracks to the other side and people.